silent killer that has hit the whole world. And even though we still go through sickness, death, many of us have lost our jobs, we're still here. Amen. Amen. With that being said, we'd like to thank our pastor and first lady for continuing to be with us. Amen. We'd like to thank you, Pastor, for continuing to be our shepherd and guide in this flock Amen. at Coral Baptist Church. Amen. And now I'd like the entire congregation to stand. <clears throat> Pastor and First Lady, this did not come from the government. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I got it. No. <laughs> Trump's name is not on President Trump's name is not on the doors of Governor Cooper. But on behalf of the Pastors Aid Ministry and this entire congregation, we would like to present to you and the First Lady a stimulus bonus. Jesus. 
the Bible, Jesus even said in, 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 in Matthew 7 and 13 that there is a, a, a wide gate and there is a broad way. He said, but then there is many trying to go in there, but it leads to destruction. But then there is a straight gate and a narrow way that leads up to life, and there are few who are trying to enter therein. Because everybody wants to do it another way. Amen. Another way. So many people, you even take this, this celebratory season when we know that Jesus is the reason for every season, and they want to do it another way than Jesus went. All right. Amen. Right. Yeah. Uh, you look all around this, and, and we look at how many of us were able to just get together and, and, and celebrate another Christmas day when we say happy birthday to our Lord and Savior and give God the praises and, and exalt him for our, our, our Savior, his son. But it, it has been steeped in so much commercialism. It has been steeped in so much um, ritualism to the point where people don't even say Merry Christmas anymore. They just say Happy Holidays. Yeah. Amen. You know, they Amen. want to take Christ out of Christmas. That's they want, right. I mean, it's, and it's sad. Because yes, they, they want to do it another way. Amen. They want to do it another way. But let me tell you something. These wise men did not see another way before, first of all, my brothers and sisters. And I don't know what way you're looking for today. I don't know what you're struggling with today. And I don't know what somebody may have told you today. But there's another way. Amen. And we learn it from the scriptures with these wise men. Some people say, well, three wise men, but no, we don't know. We do know it was more than one. We yes. do know it was two or more um, because it's men. And so, but one thing I want us to understand about getting another way. If things ain't going the way you think they ought to be going or they should be going in your life, trust me. God has another way for you. Amen. God has Amen. another way for me. Yes. If whatever we're facing, we're struggling with, there is another way. Amen. And the wise man teaches us today from the Holy Written is how that we can get on that right road the other way. But now I want you to notice it's after Christmas. Amen. 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 After Christmas. So you <coughs> see, they, they are... They discovered another way after Christmas, but it was the Christmas that helped them to get after Christmas. A lot of folks live their life trying to get to Christmas. Amen. But then when Christmas come and go, they left with bills. Right. Say so. They left without getting the gift that they hoped they were going to get. Say so. And now they are in the stack. All that hype that led up to Christmas, then Christmas Day had happened, what do they do? What do you do after Christmas? Mm. Now, people led up from the end of the summer all the way up to the 25th of December. Excited, hyped up, ready, but now Christmas had come and gone for that one day. But though there's no Christ in our hearts, mm -hmm. everything is a miracle. Amen. 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 But here's the thing. There are many of us that know Christ in our heart, but yet, even after that one day, we go back to the same old way it works. Yes. Way it was. Amen. Amen. Y'all with me? Yes. Rather than doing it another way. Amen. Okay. So let's help us to get this another way. Well, first thing is that the wise men, in order for them to get to go uh, get another way, well, first notice what they did. They sought the supreme. Mm -hmm. They sought the supreme. Verse two tells us that the wise men, or verse one and two tells us that the wise men, they came from the east to Jerusalem, right? Saying, where is he that is born king? They came seeking after the supreme one. That's right. And brothers and sisters, there are so many of us who will go back to the same old way rather than get another way because we're not seeking the supreme one. Amen. 
Yeah. We notice that it said they came, they want to, where is he that is born king? He was not made king, he was born king. And the interesting thing about Jesus, Jesus was not only born king, but the Bible said in Matthew 21, one day he was going to come riding on a donkey, right? Your king is going to come riding on a donkey. That's the right. king is coming. And even in the Bible declared unto in Matthew 27 that when Jesus was being crucified, hanging on that cross, even Pilate put a, 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 a inscription above his head, the king of the Jews. So he was born king, he came as king, and he died as king. Amen. Right? Yeah. Right. And Paul even said in first, first Timothy chapter 6, verse 15, he said, and that is appearing. He, he, he will show who is the blessed and the only potentate, the supreme one, mm -hmm. the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. 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 And even it said when he come back, Revelation 18, said upon the vexion, upon the death, it shall be a name that is written, he is what? King of kings and Lord of lords. Lord. Lord. So they came seeking he who was born king, came as king, died as king, coming back as king. Amen. Y'all with me? Yes. Well, yes. who are you looking for? Who is the supreme that we are looking for today? Jesus. See, listen, I know many of us want to be the king and the queen of our own heart. <laughs> right? Amen. We want to be the king. We want, I'm king, I'm queen, you know? But I'm going to tell you something. Even if you consider yourself to be king, even if you consider yourself to be queen, you still not the supreme. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Y'all hear me? Yeah. We are not the supreme one. And no matter how you feel about whether well, you, your royalty, my brothers and sisters, there is still one who is king. That's right. And the only way we're going to get to go another way is that, first of all, we got to do like these wise men who came and sought the king yes. that was born. Now let me say this before we move on. Because it is when they came seeking after the king, they came to what? Notice what it says in verse 2 at the end. We came to what? Worship, Worship him. him. There is no king that does not desire worship. Even in the earthly realm, when they are king, you people will come from miles around and they will fall down and worship man. These came seeking after the king born and they came to worship him. But here's the interesting thing about people today. Even in the midst of this pandemic, brothers and sisters, they want another way. But they don't want to seek after the king. They don't want to seek after the supreme. That's right. But one another way. Yes. And the wise men teach us that by seeking after the supreme, we are to worship him. Amen. People don't want to worship him. Now notice now, I ain't trying to throw no shade on nobody. So y'all hear it, don't, don't get mad at me. I'm just saying what is, what is true. In the midst of this pandemic, we have caused people to want to worship God in their own way. That's right. Rather than what God's word says, Amen. we ought to worship Him. Amen. Amen. I realize, brothers and sisters, we can worship God anywhere. Amen. Amen. Yes, we can. Yeah. And we're supposed to, right? Amen. Right. But he said we don't suppose to forsake where he wants us to worship him. Amen. Right. Notice that when the wise man came to worship, it cost them something. A lot of us won't worship in the new day in a new way where it don't cost us anything. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. For example, folk don't want to leave their house now. That's right. That's right. They want to come a worshiping from their pajamas. Yes. <laughs> Under that recliner, the easy chair. All right. Amen. Amen. Even when the midst of the church opened back up and some folks don't want to come in the church, God still blessed those folks and honored those folks for their worship who pressed their way to get to the church ground. Right. Though they sit in the car and listen to it on the radio over the phone, they still say, Listen, I got to seek after the Supreme. Yeah. And I gotta worship him. Yeah. But because yeah. what the wise men and the wise men, they came from 
of the Father. They came from the east. They came from a long way to come to Jerusalem to work. Why? Jerusalem because Jerusalem was the worship capital. That's right. And they pressed their way to get there from Persia to, to, to worship at Jerusalem. So now they want to, they don't want to, they want to, look, when you worship, it takes some time. Yes. Yes, yes, it is. Folk ain't got time to go to church now. Right, Folk ain't got time to come sit in no church no. Right, and listen to no message. No. Right. Folk ain't got time. Y'all, listen, people traveling all over the, the world. Amen. And a lot of churches got this conference called free.com. <laughs> all this stuff where they can call in. They ain't calling that number. Yeah, they right. They, they don't want to make time to go wherever they want to go. They make time to do whatever they want to do. Time to worship. We want to make took the time to travel to get to the worship place, Jerusalem, because they were seeking after the Supreme King. Say so. Not only that, it takes some time and then travel, but it took some treasure. So you just can't come worship God empty handed. Amen. You just can't worship God in their heart. Amen. See, when they came, they brought treasure. They brought, they brought gold, the Bible said. They brought gold. Matter of fact, when, 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 when the gold was given, it was a gift for a king. It was, they brought the best. Yes. They didn't bring second best. They brought right. the best. Amen. We won't bring a gift. We won't bring treasures and offer it to the king. My Lord. Hmm. And we call that second one worship. Amen. Hmm. I know we got to go. But we want another way. If you want another way, quit doing it the same old way that man tell you to do. What did man tell you to do? Man told the wife and said, look, you go find them and you come back and let me know so I can go and worship you. Yes. <laughs> But we know that Pilate didn't want to worship him. Herod. Pilate didn't want no other king but him. Herod. I'm sorry, Herod, Herod. Thank you, President. Herod. Herod didn't want no other king Amen. but him. And, 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 and Herod, Herod wanted the wise men to come back and tell him where he is. Even when he inquired of those who knew the scripture, where he should be born. Bethlehem Judah. Listen, they didn't even go and look for him. But they said, the wise men said, you go find him. Mm -hmm. And bring his word back. And we want to worship. And that's the way people is today. People don't really want to worship him in spirit and in truth. That's right. They want folks to tell them only what they want to hear, right, tickle their ears. Do whatever they want to do. You come on back and tell me how good it was. <laughs> you go down to the church. You go get your worship on. You come back and let me know what a good time y'all had. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. By Isaiah 55 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. But notice now, B, 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 as we move on. They got to get to another way. Because first of all, they come, they sought the Supreme. They sought him because they wanted to worship him. But second thing is, right there in verse 2, is that they saw his sign. They saw his sign. Notice it says, for we have seen his star in the east and come to worship him. Yeah. Y'all with me? Yes. See, a uh, 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 star, the star, this star, who, it was a divine, divine manifestation, manifestation used by God to point folk in the direction of the birth and the place of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
So that gives us this information today and understanding to know that a sign is used for direction as well as warning. Y'all with me? Amen. And a lot of people can't get another way because we will not accept the sign that is given unto us. Amen. The scripture tells us that God has given us a sign. Yes. And the wise men saw his divine manifestation by the star that gave them direction to come to Jerusalem looking for the king, the supreme one, and that they were to worship. Do you remember in Genesis how the Bible says that in, in chapter 9 that how when, when, when the flood came, God made a covenant with, with Noah. You remember? Yes. That he was not going to destroy the earth anymore with water, so he put a bow in the sky. That's right. That was a token, that was a sign that every time we see it, it's a reminder of the covenant that God made with no. Amen. There was a sign. But also, the Bible tells us in Exodus chapter 12, you remember when, 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 when the Bible told them to put the blood on the doorposts, the side doorposts, yes. the top doorposts? Yes. yes. And then when they see the blood, the death would pass over. Yes, sir. The blood was a sign. Yes. Are y'all with me? Yes. Not only that, when David said in Psalm 86, he wanted the Lord to teach him his way. He wanted the Lord to preserve his soul. He said, give me a, a sign. Give me a token that you're with me. That's right. Gideon asked for a sign mm -hmm. with the fleece. And many times those that were about to go up in battle would ask God to give them a sign whether they should go or whether they should not go. God gives us signs yes. throughout our life. Amen. Amen. And listen, my brothers and when they came to seek the supreme, the worship, they saw his sign for the way. Because verse 10 said, even after Herod, uh, even after Herod told them to come back and give me word that I'm going to worship, the Bible said, and when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding because the star was giving them the way. Amen. It was giving them direction That's right. to get to the king that they come to worship. What sign is God giving you and I today that we are overlooking? Amen. Hmm. I know there's stuff happening in our lives. And we wonder why. Well, it could be a sign. Amen. God now many different things that happen in our life yes. for a sign. Say so. For us Amen. to go another direction. Amen. Amen. He even gave a sign. To, to, to Isaiah told him when, when, in the book of Isaiah chapter 7. He told King Ahaz, ask for a sign. He'll give you a sign. Ahaz would do it. But he said a virgin shall conceive. Oh, that was a sign, right? Amen. That's right. And that's a sign that God is with us. Yes, he is. People. Yes, he is. Now, God gives some signs like a burning bush to Moses mm -hmm. to get our teaching. <laughs> that was a teaching that from Moses. Amen. That's right. God gives us time to get our attention. You know what? And so we have no what direction to go. You know what? We just ignore oh, yeah. Amen. Just stay so. <laughs> Y'all know we just ignore oh, yeah. Yes. And we go and pray, Lord, if you really want me to give me a sign, the Lord give you a sign, I'm still ain't going to That's right. Lord, I mean, oh. Lord, you got to give me another sign. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, we'll give you a couple of Look, look, the Lord wants us to get up and pray and study his word Amen. in the middle of the night. And we say, we say, well, Lord, I know I need to get up and I know I need to pray and I need to study. So I'm going, but I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. <laughs> get in the bed, your heart starts burning. <laughs> Indigestion started hitting. You can't hardly sleep. 
You can't shut your eyes. You can't get scared of something that's hurting on the inside. That's right. And the Lord said, get up and stand. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to take this a pep talk. This is what I'm taking this <laughs> I'm oh, taking this like acid relief. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Oh, and the Lord that gave you a sign to get up. That's right. <laughs> and go study. And you won't do it in his way. You won't do it your way. And you're going to use that thing on work. But then all of a sudden, let me get up and I can't see. No, I'm going to go ahead and study. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you got to keep your mind off all that you're feeling That's and right. put it in his scripture. And God's going to show you the way. And the next thing you know, you just feel so much better yeah. when you finish reading and praying and saying you're going to get in the bed and just have no more problems. Amen. That's right. Y'all ever been like that? Yeah. I have. <laughs> Four times in one. Amen. So all, all I'm trying to say is that God will give us another way when we see, see the supreme. Mm -hmm. And when we see his sign. Amen. That's what the wise men did. They saw the supreme, and they saw his sign. But as I close, they was able to prepare them for the last one. See, that's why so many of us keep going. Let me tell y'all something. You're thinking about this, this virus, this pandemic, and we know that on the horizon, they say, well, we got a vaccine coming. But the vaccine ain't the way. That's right. I'm going to take it. I don't know about food. Y'all say, I'll take it. Y'all do whatever you feel you want to do. But I don't speak for me. Amen. I ain't making my wife take it, but Lord, if by the time we get through all these folks that done took it, they live. I'm going to take it. I'm In the vaccine. That's right. That's right. My confidence, my trust right. is in the victory yeah. that Jesus yeah. Yeah. It ain't vaccine, it's victory. That's right. That's right. That's right. But in the midst of this pandemic, folk are struggling, folk are, have become faithless, and folk have become so fearful, wondering is there another way? And even if the vaccine comes, and somebody says, We got a vaccine, I ain't taking that, they gotta be another way. God has gave us a way in the person named Jesus. Where man told us to come. 
Man tell us to walk right away from Christmas and go back to doing it the way you used to do it. Walk right away from Christmas and go back living life as if there is no Jesus. Live life that there is no Savior. Live life that there is no favor. Live life that there is no mercy. Live life as if there is no hope. But the wise men discovered that because they saw the supreme to worship, and because they saw his sign to give them the way, that put them in the perfect place, y'all with me? Amen. To surrender to the sovereign. As we close, let us see if they surrendered to the sovereign. Because verse 12 says that after they had seen and witnessed all of this, they gave him uh, the gold, they gave him uh, the frankincense, and they worshiped uh, his deity. They gave him his mirth, mirth. I, I want you to know after this, after they worshiped, after they found the way to Jesus, being now about two years old in the house, they were satisfied. They were satisfied. And I don't know about you. Are you satisfied? Right. Are you satisfied with the Jesus that you found to be supreme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you satisfied with the sign that he gives us every day that because he lived, we shall live also? Are you satisfied? Well, then if you're satisfied, my brothers and sisters, then the last thing is the wise man gives us to know is that they surrender to the sovereign. And when you surrender to the sovereign, I want you to know it's because of your worship and because of his way, and it's also because of his will. When we surrender to the sovereign, we say, Father, it's not my will, but thy will be done. And God warned them and told them, he said, don't go back the way you came. Yeah. He said, but I want you to go another way. And the word declared that they went another way and they went back into their country. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Uh, it ain't always the best thing to go back the same way you came. See, when you go back the same That's way you come, you may not experience new blessings. Right. You may not experience yeah. new blessings. But how do you know God can open doors that can close in your yeah. face? How do you know God can shut doors that can't no man open? sovereign king That's that right. they were to listen to. But God was king who wrapped himself up in flesh, yeah. came down through 42 children, yeah. born of a virgin, placed in a manger, yeah. and born in a stable. Yeah. Can I get a witness? And when God spoke to them after they seen their prisoner, the Bible declared that they surrendered to the sovereign. Do y'all remember the young lady over in 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 1 by the name of Hannah? Y'all yes. remember yes. Uh -huh. yes. how when she wanted a son, the Bible declared that she was out there praying and praying that God would bless her with a son. And Eli, the priest saw it. He thought she was drunk. And the Bible said that she told her, I'm not drunk. He said, I, she said, I'm sorrowful in my spirit. And the Bible says she was a surrendering soul. She was pouring out her heart. I don't know about you, but when you learn how to seek after the yes. supreme, when you learn how to see his sign, it won't stop you from surrendering to the sovereign. It won't stop you from saying, God, you are God, not my will, but your will be done. You know which way I go. You know which way I should go. And you begin to say, Father, if you lead me, I will follow you. Can I get a witness? If anybody today is looking for another way, I stop by to tell you that he is another way. And his name is Jesus. Can I get a witness? The living of the valley, Jesus. The bright and morning star, Jesus. Anybody know his name is Jesus? The rose of Sheridan, the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His name is Jesus. I'll stop by to tell you. 
Stop selling, stop selling and telling for what men say about Jesus and learn for yourself because when you do, you will worship him. You'll follow his way and you'll fall down and let God will be done. Can I get a witness? Yeah. If anybody in here need another way, I'll stop by to tell you there is another way.